Hey guys, happy Tuesday. This is another episode of Tasty Tuesday with Jenny. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so excited to have you guys with me today. We are going to make chicken fried cauliflower rice. So I'm really excited about this. What you'll need for this dish is chicken. You'll need two eggs. I put two eggs in mine. You will need salt and pepper, garlic. You can either do garlic powder or actual garlic. Um, you will need the vegetables. So cauliflower rice. You can um, actually chop off the cauliflower and put in a fruit processor to make the rice. Or you can get it frozen. For people like me who work all the time and a lot of times I come home late, sometimes I don't get even get home until 7 or 8 o'clock at night. So I need something simple to help me make it through. That way I can eat still somewhat healthy, but something that's not so time consuming. So this is what I use. It's original cauliflower rice. Um, the only thing that's in here is cauliflower and sea salt. And you put it in the microwave for a minute and a half or four minutes and a half and you're good to go. It's all ready for you. Um, I'm using carrots. Again, I've, I chopped up baby carrots. I'm going to put water in here um, and put it in the microwave for about three to five minutes just to make sure it gets soft and that's what I'm going to use. Um, I'm not going to use peas this time, but you can put peas in yours. Um, I'm not going to do onions either, but onions are another thing that you can chop up and put it in this dish as well. Um, and soy sauce. You'll need soy sauce. Um, I use the less sodium one. That's probably the best way to go. Um, you won't need a lot of it. Just a, you know, um, drizzle on there to get the flavor in. Also, you'll need um, oil. You can use EVO, so extra virgin olive oil. That will work for this dish. I am using today, I'm using sesame seed oil, and I'll show you this organic sesame seed oil. That's just what we have at the house. That's just what I'm using. It's, you don't have to use it, but um, it's just something that we had at the house, and that's what I'm going to use. So right now, I am going to cook the chicken. The chicken's in here, and I'll show you that real quick. So there's the chicken. I just chopped it up and put it in here. And then I have my eggs as well. So I'll put that in the, the pan to scramble them. So scramble my eggs. And then I am going to work on the cauliflower rice and the carrots, just steaming them in the microwave and being done with that. So again, to cook the chicken, you'll just chop up the chicken, put it in here and use your oil, whether it's EVO or sesame seed oil or whatever you want to use, whatever you prefer. And then we'll come back. So I'm going to do all of that that I just mentioned. So the veggies, steam the veggies, cook the chicken, and then scramble the eggs. And then when we come back, I'm going to show you how I put it all together and the seasonings and stuff that I put in it to help it cook. Okay, see you soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just, um, the chicken is finally getting cooked. So I put that, I turn it to a lighter um, temperature. So a, a lower temperature, I guess, not lighter. And the scrambled eggs are scrambled and the cauliflower and carrots are steamed. So we're gonna put this just all together and then finally eat. So excited, it's gonna be so good. Okay. So the chicken's cooked. What I'm going to do, I drained the water from the cauliflower, or um, from the carrots. Still steaming a little bit. I'm just going to plop those in there. Okay. And then I have my cauliflower all steamed up. So I'm going to take that, open it. They also make two. They also have a cauliflower... Um, fried rice mix type thing. So it has your, um, it's in a bag like this, and it has your cauliflower, carrots, and peas already in it. So you just warm it up in the microwave, and then you're you're done with that. You just got to add the chicken and the scrambled eggs and the soy sauce with that. So there's that. I'm gonna give it a little mix just so all of it's together. And then I'm going to put the um, 
scrambled eggs in here last. I'm gonna mix it up and put the flavors in and then make that mix up for a little bit. And then put the eggs in and do a final mix. So, we're gonna start with garlic. Again, like I said, you can use the garlic powder. Today I'm using minced garlic. You can buy this in the grocery store. I love, love, love this stuff. I love actual garlic, but I don't like, you know, chopping them up and doing, I ain't got time for that. So, this is what I use. I'll show you minced garlic. Get it in the stores. And so, I love garlic. Um, you really just need like two tablespoons of garlic. I'm probably, we'll see. We'll put just a little bit more. And like I said, I will, um, I will post these recipes. So that way, um, when you do it at home, you'll know exactly what to put in it and not just, oh, this looks good. I've been cooking this stuff for a, a while. So I just kind of guess now at it. Um, but before, believe me, before I was measuring everything, even if it called for a pinch of salt, I was like looking up, what does a pinch mean? <laughs> so, so I was not... A huge I mean I, I like to cook but I, in college I was never a huge chef so I didn't really get that way until um, I got married and started eating healthier so let's do that mix that up then we're gonna put a little bit of salt in there I do it in my hands for this just because um, the salt shaker like comes out like crazy you'll get nothing and then all of a sudden you'll get the whole that looks good I'll get some more of that that will be good. Spin it around. Don't need too much. Put the excess almost there. And then we're gonna do pepper. Just sprinkle on some pepper. Okay. Should be good. And then I'm gonna mix that together and I'll probably do the soy sauce and the um, eggs together. So let me mix that for a little bit and just let it cook so that way the flavors kind of sink in a little bit. It smells so good. I love garlic. Love, love, love garlic. It's my go-to. I use it in a lot of my stuff. Um, but because it's just so easy, especially when you buy this brand, it's so easy to do. And that's that's me. I'm all about easy, convenient, but trying to eat decent. So, go from there. All right. Now I'm going to add in my egg. So I got two scrambled eggs right here. Add that into my pan. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to add the soy sauce. So this is last. And in my book this is what I do and just sprinkle it on and I'll show you the soy sauce that I use I use the less sodium one like I said so this is what I'm using today and I'm gonna mix this up oh that smells really really good and it didn't take long for me to get all that and I've got a decent meal and it's not full of carbs like regular rice is. And I'm getting my veggies in which is hard for me a lot of times. A lot of times I don't get as much as much as the veggies that I need in a day. So this is very very helpful for me. I love it. Perfect. And that's it. I'll show you the final product. That's what we got going on right here. Smells delicious. It looks even better. So that's it. Um, that is chicken fried cauliflower. I will post again the recipe on here. Feel free to comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and enjoy i can't wait to try this i know it's gonna be delicious i made it before but it's so good you need to try it have to try it 
So I'll see you next time. Bye guys.